Hello everyone, this is Fanny. You are watching Fanny HS Info. Today I am going to talk about safety management system and the key elements of health and safety management system. A safety management system is a systematic approach to managing safety including the necessary organization structure, accountabilities, policies and procedures. The objective of safety management system is to provide a structured management approach to control risks in operations. Next one, the key elements of health and safety management system. Before going to know about the key elements of safety management system, let us know about PDCA cycle. It is an iterative design and management method used in business for control and continuous improvement of process and products. It is also known as deeming circle, cycle or wheel. In PDCA cycle, the P means plan. This step involves setting up of target and planning of how it can be achieved. D means do. This step involves implementing the plan in systematic way. And third letter C means check. Periodically the target sets needs to be checked whether they are been achieved or not and whether the results achieved in line with expectations. And last one A means act. This step closes the cycle indicate whether any improvement need to be made and at the same time deciding on the new targets for those are achieved. Now the key elements of safety management system are in plan stage includes policy and organization, do stage includes planning and implementation, check stage include measuring performance and act stage includes reviewing performance. Let me brief each key element one by one. Policy Effective health and safety policy sets a clear direction for the organization to follow. It is a statement of intent made by a top management showing their commitment with respect to aim and objectives in maintaining and practicing good safety and overall reducing accidents or achieving zero harm. Organization an effective management structure and arrangements are in place for delivering the policy. This element speaks about the roles and responsibilities of various levels towards health and safety. The delegation of authority and channel of communication within the organization, right from the managing director to assembly worker and also the staff. Next one, planning and implementation. This element will focus on detailed arrangements to do about achieving the target set in policy section. While policy speaks about what needs to be achieved, this section speaks about how it can be achieved. This section will have procedures for carrying out risk assessments, accident investigations, etc. Measuring performance. Performance is measured against agreed standards to reveal when and where improvement is needed. This includes methods of monitoring and measuring the performance. Some monitoring methods could be proactive like uh, for example a safety tour, safety sampling and safety survey while other could reactive like example measuring accident, absenteeism and ill health data. And last one, reviewing performance by audit. Audit is a planned, systematic and critical evaluation of health and safety management system by competent persons. It will identify weaknesses and suggest the changes in the health and safety system, the implementation process or in the setting of inadequate or unrealistic targets. This is about safety management system and its key elements. Once again let me summarize the key elements of health and safety management system HSC policy. Organization includes roles and responsibilities. 
planning includes planning includes hazard identification risk assessments legal requirements site programs etc implementation which includes training communication documentation emergency preparedness etc measuring performance which includes accidents incidents kappa etc and reviewing which includes records or record management and audit this is about safety management system thanks for watching and please don't forget to sub subscribe and share my videos have a safe day